May the 12th, 2020. As you're looking at uh, Atlantic radar, and this is from the National Hurricane Center. You notice it's today's date. Now, we're only 18 days out from the beginning of the the uh, technical beginning of hurricane season. But uh, I think in the last few years, we saw some early development, and that's what they're starting to notice now. And uh, just under this section of clouds that you're seeing uh, being pushed northeast, they're expecting some tropical development in this area for the weekend. Now, it's, they're not saying it's going to hit land or anything, but uh, it's a good chance for us to talk about this and make sure you're prepared. They're already uh, talking about an uh, above-average season for this year. I'll do another video. We'll go through the names of the current hurricane system, things like that, or the uh, hurricane season, excuse me. But uh, again, there's a low pressure system setting there. It's supposed to come up and be north of the Bahamas and then move back out into the Atlantic. And uh, But I wanted to bring this up and show you the information just so you, um, you're, you're aware of where we're at. It's been extremely strange whether we go from freezing in the northeast to uh, tropical system development. Let's take a look at the map itself. But if you go to uh, your data and two section in the five day graphical tropical weather outlook, this is out of the National Hurricane Center in Miami, you've got a 70% chance of cyclone formation in five days. This came out at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. A broad area of low pressure is expected to develop late this week or early this weekend, a couple of hundred miles north of the Bahamas. Environmental conditions appear conducive for gradual development of the system, and subtropical depression or storm is likely to form this weekend while it moves northeastward over the western Atlantic. The next special tropical weather outlook on this system will be issued at 9 a.m. in the morning Wednesday or earlier if necessary. Again, 70% chance of formation. And they're thinking it's going to be caught up in the front and not impact land. We're going to keep an eye on it, guys. And this is just a reminder that uh, we're getting back into that season. And as crazy as the weather's been, um, we're going to have to pay attention. Remember how uh, the Bahamas got hit last year. That massive 200-mile-an-hour hurricane set there over the islands for a couple of days. Didn't leave much. But that, again, the weather's crazy. We're in grand solar minimum. Our shields are weak. As I'm watching it, you watch it. We'll do an update on this in the morning when they uh, come in with uh, the 9 a.m. 9 Eastern time update. It's so a heads up, guys. Be safe.